Welcome to the Young Leaders Educational Dialogue or ULEAD Leadership Talk Series for the second semester of 2021 to 2022. ULEAD is a collaboration between the FEU Career and Placement Office and the Office of Student Development together with our digital media partner, the Marketing and Communications Office. This is Ron Gascon, the coordinator of FEU Career and Placement Office or CAPO, and I'll be also your MC and moderator for this afternoon's leadership talk. The Young Leaders Educational Dialogue, or ULEAD, is designed to provide leadership talk and training dedicated to our student leaders by equipping them with the necessary knowledge, skills training, and relevant topics and leadership approaches through engagement with various industry professionals and experts. Today, for our ULEAD leadership topic, Walk the Talk, the leader as an effective communicator, we are privileged and grateful to be joined by our resource speaker, who is an accomplished leader in the world of communications and public relations. Student participants are invited to participate and engage with our resource speaker later during the Q&A segment by posting your questions on the chat box. Those watching in our live stream right now via the FE official Facebook page may also send in their questions in the comment section. We are really excited for your participation as we progress in our leadership talk this afternoon. Just a reminder, please make sure that your microphones are always on mute to avoid causing any unnecessary interruptions. Thank you so much for your cooperation and let us maximize our learning from this event. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the welcoming remarks, may I call on the Director of the Office of Student Development, Ms. Gracial A. Lintag. Director Gracial, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you very much, Ron. It's a wonderful afternoon. So the Career and Placement Office has been very active in mentoring our students as they map their career journey. Its numerous and relevant projects have been very helpful in guiding our students from pre-employment preparation, webinars and workshops, career mentoring sessions, career advising, and training employment programs. One of these industry-responsive programs is the Young Leaders Educational Dialogue or you lead. This program aims to provide leadership training, seminars, and workshops for student leaders and for all students or potential student leaders, focus on necessary skills to be successful in their chosen careers. This continuous effort of honing our students' work competencies and soft skills is essential in building successful and meaningful careers. Today is another initiative of the Career and Placement Office in coordination with Student Development, an initiative to prepare our students to become future-ready professionals. So when I hear the words leadership and communication, I remember a song that goes with these lyrics. Don't worry, I won't sing. It's a sunny day, I won't sing. I was not gifted with a very beautiful singing voice. But the lyrics tells something like this. To harmonize the perfect tune, one cannot do without the other. They just have to be together. So you just Google which song has that lyrics. But I, when I hear that song, I think of leadership and communication that one cannot do without another or one cannot do without each other. A leader is someone who communicates his or her vision, plans, aspiration, strategies, techniques, and decisions to his or her team. The communication has to be clear, concise, and convincing to move others towards a common goal and a shared vision. A good communicator, on the other hand, has the capacity and the gift to lead. He or she has the power to persuade people to certain direction influence others to make positive changes and to take a leadership role to make all things possible and doable. So today's you lead webinar will further our thoughts that indeed there's a marriage between or a bond between leadership and communication. And we are very grateful to have with us today a very passionate, energetic, and brilliant career expert who will speak about leader as an effective communicator. So I suggest you have your pens and papers with you or your mobile phones with you. Let's take down notes as we learn from the insights and experiences from our speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, dear students and guests, 
Welcome to ULE Talk entitled Walk the Talk, the Leader as an Effective Communicator. Have an inspiring and beautiful afternoon. Back to you, Ron. Thank you so much, Director Gracial, for such an inspiring, welcoming message for our ULE Leadership Talk participants today. And now, to introduce to us our you lead resource speaker, may I call on the director of the FEU Career and Placement Office, Ms. Maria Carmencita Babes Suva Alfonso. Ma'am Babes, good afternoon. The screen is yours. Thank you so much, Ron. Good afternoon, everyone. Allow me to introduce uh, our you lead resource speaker for today. He is the chairman and CEO of Page One Group and serves as communication expert to some of the multi-million dollar projects of the uh, United States Agency for International Development or USAID, the United Nations, the World Bank, the European Union, and the Asian Development Bank. He is also a global award-winning communications executive with international working experiences in managing teams in Europe, Middle East, and Asia Pacific. He has been recognized for his exemplary body of work and communications campaign in prestigious award-giving bodies in London, San Francisco, Vancouver, Washington, DC, Toronto, Beijing, Hong Kong, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Jakarta, and in the Philippines. He was a judge as one of the eight Global Internal Communicators of the Year in 2014. People of the Year for Asia Pacific in Beijing, China in 2020, and Best PR Practitioner in Southeast Asia in 2021. He was the President of the Public Relations Society of the Philippines from 2016 to 2017, the co-leader of the Risk and Crisis Working Group of the Asia Pacific Association of Communication Directors, and uh, one of the thought leaders in the International Public Relations Association in London, UK, and the Public Relations Society of America. He is a PhD sociology candidate at De La Salle University, Manila, and has also earned units in PhD management, organizational behavior in the Swiss School of Management in Switzerland. Ladies and gentlemen, on your screen, Mr. Ron Habal. Sir Ron, good afternoon, and thank you very much for, this, uh, for being here this afternoon. The virtual floor. Good afternoon, Dana. Good afternoon, uh, Ms. Babes. Uh, thank you, FEU, uh, Director Gracial, for inviting me here. Uh, talagang, I'm really very happy that I got and received an invitation from Babes. That's why I readily said yes. I'm uh, surprised that si Ms. Babes is not here because I don't know if I'm here. But I like this interaction. No? Lalo na sa pag may mga edad na katulad ko, you really wanted to interact with a lot of young people. And this is very surprising to me because this is the first time that I'm actually in a almost like a mini conference or seminar na attended by almost 200 in, in, the, in, in the Skype, no? Uh, 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 sorry, uh, it's just Zoom. And, and then I'm sure there are other people also watching it's the FB Live, no? Walang ganito, no? <clears throat> Walang ganito. I've already attended also a lot of global uh, conferences. Walang ganito ka enthusiastic. So, and considering this is just one hour, so very, very thankful. And also, um, I'd like to thank also FEU and the leadership of FEU, with, uh, led by uh, Ms. Babes and Gracia and of course, Ron, no? uh, for uh, doing this kind of kinds of activities. Kasi this is the kind of activity that everybody should appreciate. As I was telling them yesterday, uh, a while ago, no, none of the schools that have attended, participated in, spoke, uh, not make any tone, no, preparing students to be leaders. And this is a wonderful virtue and a wonderful activity that the school is doing because really students should be prepared for what is out there outside the school. And, and I was told that most of you are graduating there are a lot of things that you will be faced with that you later will say, how come I did not learn that from school? No, Don't be like us in, in, in the past, in the very, very distant past where, believe it or not, uh, I had complained in my uh, valedictory address that I did not learn anything from school. Uh, and, and I was already graduating at the time, so I didn't know. And this is the reason why I think you guys should appreciate FEU for doing all these things. You know? and, and so I, and, and leadership and communication, as I need Director Gracial, is that there, there's a marriage. You know? uh, talagang, it's not a tit for tat, it's actually a, a, 
a marriage of two uh, skills that one must have to be able to face a lot of the tasks and challenges that everybody will face, uh, not just as a new graduate, but also as you grow a little bit older and mature and, and you, you climb up the ladder if you're working that you need, you need. Now, even those that are on top of the, of the heap, the presidents need these types of skills. And that's why it is very, very, um, uh, I'm very, very happy that these types of, of activities is being done by uh, FEU. So for this afternoon, um, as the director Gracia says, no, leadership and communications go hand in hand all the time. No leader is able to lead his flock, his group, his organization, his activity without being very good or excellent in, in communicating. And communication should not just be interpreted as informing people, educating people, or communicating people. Now, as we say in communications, uh, IEC may be easy, but uh, communicating as a leader is more difficult than that. So there's a, always a, a, a notch higher than just informing people because vision cannot just be told to people. No? It has to be explained. People need to subscribe or agree to such vision if you're joining an organization to be able to uh, uh, let other people believe in that vision so that the organization can move forward. That's why today we shall be presenting to you, hopefully, I'm going to speak a little faster because I'm only allowed 30 minutes or else Miss Babes might just, you know, go to my house and, and whip me or something. So, uh, so communicating to influence, that's what we're going to discuss today. So it, this is a coined word by me, confluence, because I believe that any communication is a form of way, is a form or way or platform for influencing. Para sa medyo bata-bata pa, alam mo, every time you ask for additional uh, baon, that is a way by which you can influence your parents, di ba? You use a lot of strategies to be able to do that, hindi ba? Pag ikaw ay magingi, ma, di, pupunta kami, manonood ako ng ganito. Sabihin mo, eh, kasi, alam mo, may ganito. So all of those reasonings are also a way by which we can communicate to influence. So, and these are some of the skills that I think we should be adopting as we as we go a little bit older, as we graduate. So we need to be able to communicate, not just to tell people, but also to influence. Right? So, and, and, and even if you're not a non-communications graduate, in all of the decisions that you do, in communicating to influence is very, very important. But before we actually delve into that one, let me first um, ask you how you see yourself today, because communicate or communication involves a lot of self-assessment. So look at this particular picture and ask yourself, sino ba ako sa dalawang ito in, in terms of communicating, in terms of being a leader, in terms of communicating as a leader? Ako ba yung malaking aso na nakikinig, uh, you know, uh, at, at, at uh, siguro natatakot? O ako ba yung maliit na aso na nakita mo parang naninigaw o nag inform So you have to evaluate yourself what type of leader you are. No? Are you the kind of leader that is bossy? Are you the kind of leader that actually listens and just be able to decide? So these are some of the things that everybody should be concerned about. I mean, it's easy to say I'm a leader, no? but you need to be able to say, sino ba ako? What are the factors that are involved in me being a leader? Diba? Marami yun eh. Hindi ka agad pwedeng sabihin, ah, leader ako kasi may title ako, boss ako, manager ako, hindi ganun. No? Pag pumunta ka sa isang organization, there's a lot of self-evaluation that one has to do to be able to move ahead in um, telling people or making people feel that you really are a leader. So again, ha, look at yourselves. Sino ba ako dito? There's no correct answer. There's no right answer. It has to be a self-evaluation on who you are as a leader and how you communicate. Now, the reason why I say that is because in your self-evaluation, there are a lot of things that you have to consider when you're communicating and it inhibits, all of these factors inhibits communication when you're already in an organization. For instance, one of the obstacles is in, in, in relationships is the consideration of power. Sino ba ang mas boss sa akin? Diba? Sino ba ang president ba siya kasi secretary lang ako o vice president, sino yun? And how you'll be able to communicate is a kind of dynamics that we need to be able to manage. Sinasabi ng asymmetrical power. Ibig sabihin, magkakaiba kayo ng power na hinahawakan. So in an organization, pag bagong uh, empleyado ka, syempre sasabihin mo, ah, makikinig ba ako lagi sa boss ko? It inhibits communications because sometimes you have a brilliant idea 
and yet you're not able to communicate through. It doesn't mean that you're a new employee or a new, you're not a leader, no? A leader is being able to speak freely and to be able to speak as respectfully as well your ideas. That's why sometimes we assess ano ba yung asymmetrical power deed and how you'll be able to manage yourself when you're ready there, no? The most, another one that inhibits communications and the type of leadership that we will employ is how do we, do, do we to be more open in your opinions? Diba, alam niyo, as communications, may tinatawag na group thinking, diba? Or, or the spiral of silence, as they say, diba? So, ang sinasabi doon is that, ay, pag merong daldal ng daldal, ay tatahimik na lang ako. That's not the kind of leaders that we want. We need to be able to also raise our opinions in such a way that that opinion is also being recognized by others, hindi ba? So, a form of leadership and a form of communication is also being able to tell your truth, right? If you disagree, then you can respectfully say you disagree and these are being offered as a constructive criticism. So these are some ways by which we can communicate leadership and we can be seen as leaders as well. Now, may siyempre may takot lagi. Sila sabi mo, it's easier said than done, pero nakakatakot, no? Lagi kang natatakot. Eh kung away na ko, eh kung ganun. Sometimes yung fear mo na uuna kesa sa your effort, di ba? To be able to do that one. So, being a leader is being able to surmount such initial impressions of fear, right? Because if you are not able to, to surmount that and, and then overcome that, then the possibility of a bright idea is already depressed, meaning hindi na siya mabibring up. Sayang naman, hindi ba? There are many ways by which you can do that one. So we'll, we'll, as we go along, we'll be able to kind of like tackle a little bit of some of the strategies that we need to be able to become a more effective uh, leader in terms of communications and being able to become more influential huh? uh, uh, in terms of, of, of leadership skills within the organization, regardless of, of status or, uh, or, or position. All right. Now, four. There are four things that we need to be able to remember when we are. Sabi ko is leader in training, no communication leader in training. Pwede naman ganon, di ba? We're training ourselves to be that one. Believe it or not, mukalang ako walang iya at at hindi hindi yun hindi na hihiya. Mahiya ay na kung tao. Hindi wala makapaniwala nito na sabi nila ng pinanganak ako na nai ko nung inire niya ako. Nagbubunga nga na ako. Hindi totoo yun. No? Uh, uh, right after, as a reporter, I didn't know what to do. I was in the communications field. I didn't, know what, I didn't want to, to talk to people kasi shy type ako. Again, nasusukang lahat ng friends ko pag sinasabi nilang shy type ako kasi hindi nila niniwalang naging shy type ako ever. Pero again, you're able to recover from that. You're able to learn from that. You're able to surmount your fear of, 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 of shy, of, of shyness. Dahil sa, you're able to learn how to navigate your role in that particular organization or community. And one way by which we can do that one is to become self-aware. And being self-aware is understanding your weak, weaknesses and strengths. Uh, so you explore and expand your and, and, and tap your strength and then you work on your weaknesses. It doesn't mean that you're weak, you're weak you, will, you will no longer do the things that will will make you exhibit that weakness. No, you learn from it. You, 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 uh, you, uh, you study hard and you work hard and then just overcome the weakness. So again, self-awareness is key. Sino ba ako as a person? Sino ba ako as an organization? If you're an expert in, 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 in numbers related, then show it. And then if you're, if you're an expert in communications, Show it, pero alam mo, mahirap kasi sinasabi lagi, eh, communications ako, pero shy ako, no? It looks like an anathema or magkabit, magkaiba, hindi pa? Tal totoo yun, may nangyayari yun. Pero nakaka-recover. I am a particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, example of that one. Hanggang ngayon nga, pati sarili ko, hindi ako naniniwala, naging mahiyain ako at one point in my life. Kasi ang kapal talaga ng mukha ko, no? So, bigyan mo ako ng microphone kahit saan. Kahit sa Tutuban, ginawa ko yun. Naging MC ako sa Tutuban Center sa harapan. Ang guest ko, sumalangit na masya, ay si Mahal at saka si, um, si Black Jack. Because I needed to be able to do that one because I was working for a particular mall. No? So to be self-aware of what your capabilities are is a way by which you'll be able to communicate well as a leader. But again, it doesn't, and the next one, of course, is communications. Kasi kailangan din naman talagang hasain. No? Walang born na sobrang galing mag-communicate. Walang ganun. 
pinag-aaralan niyo, pinagpa-practisan. Kahit ang mga material ko that I've been doing this and I've been doing workshop for the longest time, pina-practice ko even this particular material, pina-practice ko to like for three, four hours a day, pati mga hand gestures ko, no? Kasi yun ang nami-miss ko pala, no? Sa face-to-face, no? You're able to to be able to uh, express your warmth to your audience, hindi ba? Yung bang makita ko man lang yung isang estudyante dyan na hindi nakikinig, nagte-text lang, ay, gustong-gusto ko yun, di ba? Kasi that's how you'll be able to feel also that whether you're being listened to or heard. So a way by which we, we communicate is also very important as part of your core leadership skills. No? And later on, we will focus on this one and how not just Verbal communication is key, but more so non-verbal communication. Especially after the pandemic, we will be able to prepare you because after the pandemic, everything will be noticed again. Lalo na sa kulturang Pilipino, tayo ay mapa, ano pa naman tayo ma, ma, mapuna, no? Yung bang sabi niya, ay, bakit ganun? Yun na naman ang suot niya. Di ba last week yan din ang suot niya? Lahat yun napupuna. O kaya, ba't yung lipstick niya nasa ngipin? Mga ganyan. So, It, that particular uh, image is a form of communication and every leader should be able to master that one. That's why you always check whether you're dressed up for the occasion. And then number three is, of course, influence. Now, your influence, this is the main topic for today, is really is to be able to, communication, to, to communicate your brand, your vision, whether they're aligned with others. Because mahirap sa isang leader na i-impose ang lahat ng kanyang vision. We need to be able to find out, for instance, what makes people tick. Ano ba yung nasa isipan nila sa behavior na that will enable us to convince them that our vision is also the right way to be able to do. And, and, and corollary to that one is our ability to learn. That's why there's a learning agility that every leader needs to do. So it's not a matter of just telling other people, but also learning. Learning not just the basic skill set, but also learning behavior of other people because this is where we'll be able to uh, uh, realize how, how good we are as a leader. So again, four basic skills. Uh, skills that we need to have as part of our, uh, of our core as a leader. Self-awareness, communication, influence, and learning agility. So just to be able to define what an influence is and how as a leader we can do that, right? student leader ka, di ba? Kailangan mo yun, di ba? So ngayon, lalo na ngayon, mas madaling i-Google, no? Uh, hindi pwedeng magsinungaling kasi you're just one Google away, no? So the act of power producing an effect. So very, very important for a leader is you only be mindful of the effect of the things that you say, the things that you communicate, and the things that you show and behave. Diba? Diba? So you own an important as a leader. So influence is a communication skill, right? So if it's defined in a transitive verb, it's just to affect all or alter by indirect or intangible means. So as a leader, we should be able to affect behavior change. We should be able to uh, affect uh, alter all attitudinal change because all of these matter when we are already exercising some form of leadership. There's been changes throughout the years, may top to bottom, may wrong age of involvement, usong uso yan noong 2000, no? ini-involve ang lahat ng tao. Pero ngayon, hindi mo maintindihan, lalo na during the pandemic, no? sino ba ang laging masusunod? Boss or employee or the same? That's why there's a lot of engagement that has been happening for the past two years that the leaders are actually besieged with so many problems on how to behave these things. A case in point is what's happening, for instance, in the BPO industry when the government already is requiring everybody to go back to the office. And yet, the PPO workers are saying, but we can already deliver the same results by just working at home, right? So, sino ang masusunod? If you're the leader of people, who, should, who you should follow? Is it the request and demand of the employees because you're taking care of their behalf? Or the government who's, who will penalize you, no? Aalisin ang malaking incentive mo. Sipi mo of a leader, no? How do you, do you communicate to your employees saying na, pasensya na, ha? <clears throat> Madadami akong babayarin eh pag hindi kayo bumalik sa office. And yet, how will that particular uh, manager or, or president will, will tell uh, the staff na, sorry, hindi ko kaya i-assure na healthy ang facility when you go back. So these are a lot of dilemmas that leaders need to resolve, especially in the last two years of 
of, of this pandemic. No? And, and, and communication is key to all of these things. So there's a lot of hemming and hoing in parts of the, in, in, in the industry. And I, I'm, I belong to that solution. So I part, I'm part of the group that's actually managing employees and how to communicate what we call change management no? in, in terms of, of, of in, in engaging people, whether we will be able to adopt a, a full full time work in the office or full work from home or do a hybrid thing, just to be able to balance the needs of the organization. So as a leader and as a communicator, very, very important to be able to understand all of these things. Now, I'll just run down some of the influence strategy that you guys can think. I am not, this is not a, this is not a a, uh, a hardcore or cast in stone influence strategies, but these are some of the things that have been known to be used by leaders in terms of communicating influence to people that they lead. No? One is friendliness. Ginagawa natin to, di ba? As a student or as a student leader, di ba? When we wanted people to follow us or to engage with our projects and all of that, when we become friendlier, di ba? Friendliness is next to electionless. No, anyway, friendliness is... Is, is key to uh, being able to engage people. And that's one by which you'll be able to do that one. Of course, bargaining. There's a lot of bargaining that's happening. As an example, kanina, no? Pag nakikipag-usap ka sa mami mo, o kahit sa boyfriend at sa girlfriend mo, ay gusto ko nang manood ng sine, mga ganyang drama. But you're able to bargain, di ba? You'll be able to do a lot of neg negotiation. It's a lot of reciprocity. There's a lot of compromises. Those are some of communication strategies that we can do as a leader. Kasi ultimately, the, 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 the success indicator of a leader is a is, is, is an appropriate uh, action. No? So if you're able to exact a response or an action that is aligned to your objective, then you can probably say, wait, very good, kasi tama yung kanyang, gusto ko yung kanyang strategy, sorry. Of course, reasoning, no? Kaya, hindi, kaya importante sa isang leader, medyo, medyo may angking konting talino, di ba? Ang isang leader ay laging matalino. Yung talino niya na hindi nakalagay sa sachet, ha, na nilalagay lang sa buhok. Pag naligo, nawawala. Ayaw natin nun yung na humuhulas na talino. Ito yung talino na either inherit or naaaral na inherit. Kasi alam mo, ang, ang reasoning can, can, can also be learned not just by studying it, but also through life experiences. Ang sabi nga na, reasoning is a lived experience. So, it is very important for us to be able to understand this one. And number four is assertiveness. Walang leader na hindi masyadong assertive. No? You cannot lead through silence. Oo. Kaya minsan medyo naiirita ako pag sinasabi na the leader is the silent majority. Naku, gusto kong pag kukurutin ang lahat ng dapat hindi kurutin. Kasi ang leader, if you want to be able to engage and to influence people to do the things that you want them to do, you have to assert the things and the reasoning. Right? So, and of course, meron din mga ibang tao, one way by which they can able to influence is by referring to their bosses or their associates. So sabi mo, sige, <clears throat> uh, can, can we do these things because the boss already has an approval or the president already has an approval or my, fr my, my friend who is <clears throat> known to the industry or to the organization of the school has an approval to it. So by, by virtue of an upper appeal or an association, that is also important. That's why related to upper appeal will be coalition because there are a lot of people who communicate by saying we have the numbers. No? We have a strength in numbers. That's why I am coalesced with a lot of people. <clears throat> That's why you be able to follow us or do the things that we're asking to do or to help us fulfill our objectives. Of course, ang pinakamalala yung sanction. Ginagawa ito. Kaya dapat expect din natin ito na uh, there are corresponding sanctions if you do not do the things that other people are doing, asking you to do. <clears throat> so a way by which people influence also ay by mere of sanction. That's why, tuntuwa ko sa mga lawyer, ito yung number one nilang influence strategy. Diba? Sabi niya, ay sige, i-demanda kita kasi may corresponding sanction. Diba? So again, just to be able to give you a breadth of influence strategies that a leader uh, can do to be able to communicate the things that needed to do and to be able to accomplish the objectives that they needed to accomplish for a particular organization. Now, <clears throat> one way by which you can be excellent in terms of leadership is by finding out who your audiences are, who your peers are. Kasi ang tendency ng ibang leader is just to 
to tell. No? Kasi leader na ako eh. I don't need to know who they are. I just need to tell them what it is that I wanted to tell. Mali yun, ha? Hindi dapat yun. As a young leader or a future leader of enterprises or organization or future captains of the industry in the Philippines and abroad, <clears throat> dapat naiintindihan mo kung sino ang mga kasama mo sa isang industriya o naiintindihan mo kasama mo sa isang organization. That's why there's a little bit of what audience mapping can should be done. No? Sometimes it's called stakeholder relations mapping or for, for, for now we will say audience mapping, especially if you're going to present something. No? Importante sa isang leader na kilala mo ang mga members. No? Ano ang role nila at katayuan sa buhay? Kasi iba-iba ang pag-communicate sorry, ang pag -communicate sa kanila at iba-iba rin ang expectations. Huwag nating i-assume ng lahat ng tao ay pareho ang expectations. Hindi, ba? <clears throat> Hindi ito yung tinatawag natin sa communications na hypodermic needle na pag sinaksak ka, ay yun na yun. Hindi ba? Hindi totoo yun. Hindi ba? So, iba-iba ang pagtingin nila. Lalo na kung may bago kang sinasabi. May mga tao kasi sinasabi niya, hey, wala naman yan, hindi yan mangyayari. Meron naman tinatapos mga tao sinasabi, ay gusto ko yan kasi may impact sa akin. O kaya may sinasabi niya na, naku, rehash lang yan. So, hin that's why when you're talking to people, you're not just going to communicate your projects, but you're also trying to find out how to arrest some of their fears, some of their concerns, some of their sentiments. So, mahirap din ha, as a... As a leader, no, as to become an effective leader, how to communicate. Minsan, inaalam mo rin kung kailangan ba nila yun? Yung value system nila pareho sa'yo, di ba? So, o pareho sa sasabihin mo. So, importante for a leader to be able to understand all of these things. Now, <clears throat> how, do, how, how do we understand audiences? Uh, may mga questions lang. No? Ang unang tanong is knowledge. No? Level of knowledge or level of information. Ikaw ba ay magko-communicate mag ng isang proyekto o isang information that everybody knows about it? Kung everybody knows about it, pipili mo na ngayon, kailangan ko bang i-present lahat? O kailangan ko lang alamin kung ano hindi pa nila alam o hindi nila naiintindihan, yun lang ipipresent ko. Kasi ang tendency ng isang leader ay sabihin lahat. Nakaka-rimarim nakaka yung makikinig ka na, yun na naman. Kaya may mga tao na do-dose out agad pag yung gano'n. Second is kailangan alam mo rin yung attitude nila towards you and towards the topic. Kasi kung hindi, <clears throat> yung lack of uh, appreciation, mararamdaman mo yun. Lalo na sa face-to-face. -face, no? If you're a leader and if you're communicating face-to-face, -face, mas ramdam mo yun. I, have, I mean, I've been working for the past 30 years. Ramdam na ramdam mo. Oh, nag-start ako ng work. Two years old pa lang ako. Kaya 32 na ako ngayon. Okay? So, so nag, ramdam na ramdam mo yun kung hindi nila masyado kang get o hindi ka masyadong appreciate ng mga tao. May mga nakayuko, may mga nagdududa, may mga nakokwentuhan. Ako yun, maraming maraming ganun. No? Lalo na yung mga mabarkadahan. Mamaya meron tayong mga, ano ba yung mga audiences na yun? May mga barkadahan na ang isihan ng isihan lang. No? O kaya yung mga, yung mga ano, na, 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 text to each other, yung mga ganyan. See? And then of course, it is also important to ask what kind of relationship would help achieve your goal. Ibig sabihin, kung babo ka sa isang organization, iba ang iyong strategy. Kung medyo matagal ka na, iba yung strategy. Tapos, laging sinasabi, from time to time, insert a little bit of levity or medyo may pa-joke ng konti. Pero it makes people at ease. Pero kung kayo ay hirap at hindi kayo talaga ma-joke na tao at hindi kayo nakakatawa, huwag ninyong gawin. Kasi kung hindi kayo nakakatawa, ay baka lalong mainis yung audience. Just again, Communicating is not just informing or telling them about the things that you want them to do. It's also understanding and feeling what they, uh, their views of you sa isang organization. Tapos, interesting. Interesting bang sinasabi mo? So, sasabihin mo, eh, ito namang speaking yun. Parang wala namang sinasabi. Hindi ako interesado. So, those are some of the things na madali mong maintindihan, especially kung face-to-face. -face. Uh, and then, of course, yung form. Ngayon, You, ano tayo eh, uh, limited ang ating form of communications. Nandito lang tayo sa Zoom, hindi ba? Whereas dati, pwedeng face-to-face, -face, pwedeng what we call toolkit discussion na maliit na group lang. So unfortunately, we are limited to this, which means hindi mo makikita kung how, how does the speaker actually deliver the message. Hindi mo kasi alam, halimbawa, wala pala ako suot sa baba. Yung mga ganyan. Kasi pero, pag face-to-face, -face, the whole 
image is important, no? Uh, and, and this being viewed and being judged, no? Uh, lalo na mga tao is very judgmental. So, again, these are some of the tips. I'll go through that one because I know we have limited time. There are many ways. What I'll do is I'll just give this material to the babes and then maybe some of you can just read through it. There are many ways by which you can do that one. Let's say on the level of knowledge, kung very little ang, 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 ang information, then you provide them basic information. Kung ito ay a lot, then you can use an advanced information. Again, you have to gauge your communication platform, communications technique and strategy in the type of audience that you have. That's why every time I ask, so I was asking Ron kanina, ano ba to? Lahat ba ito ay graduation? Kasi ay graduating students or kailangan ba ito ay kung first year students? So, ganyan, hindi ba? So, kasi kung halimbawa, eh, these are all, all professionals and whatnot, and they require you to speak in complete English, then okay din lang yun, hindi ba? But I know this is a, this is a mix, so that's why we'd rather do a little bit of taglish kasi ang mahirap nito, pag complete English ako, lumalabas ang aking uh, accent. No? Na in our, I have a British accent, believe it or not, because nag-aral ako sa Mindoro. No? So, hindi na alam bakit gano'n. No? Kasi uh, aral ako sa British Irish nuns. So for four years, ganito kami magsalita, I can't believe this is happening, really. So ganyan, na Yun ang totoong English ko kasi so, it's okay na magtagalog ng English no? or else parang sabihin niya, bakit native naman siya, but gano'n ang kanyang English. So again, there are many ways, but kung attitude naman ang kailangan, dapat i-adjust din natin yun. No? There are many ways by which we can build rapport, especially if you have a, 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 an audience that is a little bit expressing negative and you can feel that one. Ha? So sa Zoom lang nang hindi masyado eh, pero pag ito ay face to face ramdam na ramdam mo yung kung medyo um, apathetic sila or negative sila you know? so kasi lalo na kung ikaw yung nagti-training nako may mga may mga feeling magagaling ang sasabihin yung question ko nga ito tingnan ko kung talagang magaling so there are a lot of things that that that, that you need to be able to uh, manage when you are uh, communicating as a leader no uh, relationship no may, uh, that's why we always say in anything that you do you always have to say kiss 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 kasi maraming tao na gusto lang mang 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 buryong sa iyo no there are a lot of people who just wanted to test you no so by way that, to address them man, is to acknowledge a lot of mega people just needs to be acknowledged so that's why when you say kiss that's mean literally kissing them ang sinasabi ng natin is that you need to be able to acknowledge thank you for that question and this is how i will respond to that one and then thank him again because a lot of People who are negatively appreciating you actually sometimes just need a little bit of attention. So there's a lot of that one managing that one as a leader, no? Kasi hindi pwedeng bara-bara. Kasi sandali lang present ako dito, di ba? You, it's it's my way or highway. Hindi hindi dapat ganon. No? May mga leaders na ganon, but we don't like those types of leaders. That's why there's people like me who actually talk to them. That's why a lot of people hire me to be able to tell the president, you're you're a you know, something that should be blipped. Uh, dahil sa, nobody wants to talk about the shenanigans of some leaders, but somebody needs to be able to tell them na you should not be that kind of person and just be able to appreciate people na. Now, may mga tao ding interesado at interesado. Again, one way by which to do this one as a leader is try to find out. Don't always assume that everybody likes the things that you're saying. And that's the beauty of, of a face-to-face. -face. You can readily say, oh, may mga commotion sa likod. Pwede bang malaman anong, ano, bakit may ganun nun? We wanted to find out. So that everybody participates, no? Uh, and we need to be able to find out and communicate with them that this topic is important to them. That's why they need to appreciate it as well, no? And, and then what form of communications? Again, uh, it, it depends on, on, on the, on, on the, um, on the, uh, topic or the or, or the messaging no kasi kung ito ay presentation academic papers at student nako talagang parang pwedeng officially humikab no talaga kasi hindi naman lahat nakakatuwa pag paper presentation sa isang academic paper pero kung ito ay school symposium internet what not so it it, it we, kailangan naka-adjust ang ating lengguwahe ang by way we'll be able to communicate even ano ha, even microphone, even seat, staging, seating. I'll tell you, it's very different. Um, it's 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 all of that are important, and that's part of, of of communication. That's why in all the things that we do, communication is key. So nasabi ko nga, uh, yung mga communications uh, even accounting graduates they need communication because sometimes it's very difficult to explain. Ha? FS, 
uh, be able to, uh, you know, a bit and whatnot. So sometimes for a president, they need to be able to understand all of these things and communication is key because it leads to productivity, it leads to better teamwork, fewer mistakes, less stress because there's a bit of clarity, fewer rumors, although rumors are also based in communications. Alam mo na yung sa ano yung isang organization may grapevine, no? yung mga chismis and chismosa, di ba? Laging may ganun, no? So, uh, we just need to be able to uh, uh, communicate to them as well. And of course, organization is very happy if everybody's communicating well because that leads to greater profit for the organization or for a student organization, better appreciation or better brand for that particular student organization. So happier sa communication. So if a leader, in a way, one way to reach a level of happiness is really to communicate well as a leader. So, si Dale Carnegie, very, very famous, no? Four ways lang daw by which we are being judged and evaluated. What we do, dapat assume na yun na manggagaling natin, di ba? How we look. See, very important yung how we look. Sipi mo, kung may madungis ako dito habang nagsasalita sa'yo, sasabi nila, ano ba naman yan? Global, global. Ano pala global dungis lang siya, di ba? Yung ganyan, di ba? Award, award, siguro binayaran ni mga. Okay. What we say, meaning also relates to your competence and how we say it. Ang sinasabi ng lahat ng <clears throat> eksperto, what we do should be assumed, meaning competence and what we say are, should already be assumed uh, for everybody. Meaning, dapat may angking na tayong talino. No? Ang talagang inaaral is what we, how we say it and how we look when we're saying it because people do judge us because of that. Well, that's why Sim Arabian, if you're familiar with this one, a psychologist actually say these things. No? I don't know if he did it uh, with, uh, with evidence, but he's famous for this quote that 55% of the impression we make on others is determined by what they see. So which means what they see, that's why branding is important. 55% huh? judge you by what, you, what they see on you. 38%, what they hear, and look, 7% determined by the words they hear. Diba? So, hindi naman sinasabi na dapat hindi ka mag-prepare ng content or hindi ka mag-prepare ng issue. What they're saying is that they already assume that you know your stuff. You're almost like what they call SME or subject matter expert, but you need to prepare also the way how you deliver it, how you look when you're delivering it. That's why sinasabi for all, for an effective leader to be an effective leader, you know, a leader to be effective, they need to be able to master the three Vs of what they call leadership presence. Visual, how you look, diba? vocal, and verbal. Uh, give me lang signal, ha? Baka biglang gusto niyo na akong paalisin. Sige. Visual, vocal, and verbal. All right? So these are three Vs that every, kahit student leader ka kailangan intindihin mo. Kung ikaw ay uso sa leader ka sa student governance, hindi ba? Pag nangangampanya, dapat medyo maayos ang tingin. Kasi, it's almost aspirational to people. You see the election now, right? They need to be able to have a branding for themselves. Hindi ba? Hindi ka pwedeng kung ano-ano lang suot. Unless you represent a particular region. Like my friend who wears a turban and a, what do you call that, a bahag, no? Kasi he represents the Ipugao culture and region. So, three visa, visual, vocal, and verbal. And for a leader, more than anything else, you have to listen to body sounds. Body sounds, hindi ito yung may amoy, ha? Ito yung value of the non-verbal. So, look at that one, ha? All of that you have to remember, all of that you have to master when you want to communicate well. Ways of talking. You know, when you're delivering something, where you're delivering the vision on how to be able to accomplish some things, that's why you have to, you have to uh, prepare. You have to uh, practice. Uh, I do this one. I... I uh, a uh, speech, uh, a presidential speech writer for some presidents before, we mark speeches. This is where you will pause. This is where you will stress your words because that's where people give a lot of importance. Posture, no? That's why we were telling some candidates now, magsuklay naman po tayo kasi people gravitate towards that one, no? Uh, appearance, the untidiness. So all of these things, nonverbal communication, is important when we are communicating as a leader. We can never be effective leader if we do not master that one, di ba? Meron lang, meron lang mga, uh, 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 when I do this particular uh, discussion in the Indian culture, 
meron lang kung binabago ng konti kasi yung head movement, iba sa kanila yon So, dapat maintindihan mo rin yung inter, ano, cross-cultural communications. Kasi sa atin, ang yes, ganito. No? Sa kanila, sasabihin na yes. Yes, I love it. Ganyan. So, so you, binabago yun. Pero again, the general message is that everybody should be able to master nonverbal communications. As, they, as, 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 as my favorite poet, what you are speaks loudly and I cannot hear a word you say. Ibig sabihin, pag, pa, pagdating mo pa lang, dapat you're already communicating a message. You're communicating as a confident leader, as a learned leader, as a, as a compassionate and empathic leader. So, sabi nga nila, dating pa lang is a message. No? That's why marketing and communication, brand is important. Branding naman is anything, everything that people perceive about your product. It's not about the utility. It's not about the smell and everything. It's about they, how they perceive it. That's why important yung nonverbal communications. Again, when you're presenting something, either on a public presentation or, 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 or project proposal presentation, these are some of the things that we ought to be doing. You need to be able to check staging where you're going to present. And that is very important. Alam mo, lighting is very important. Kasi kung halimbawa, wala akong lighting sa harapan ko, isipin nyo, ano ba na ito? Wala man, hindi man lang nag-invest sa maayos na, linya, na, na, na uh, light. No? Importante yun. No? Room arrangement. As a public speaker, I always ask my organizer, how many do we expect? And if they're sitting, I always ask them to remove 20% of chairs, just in case. Because in a public speaking engagement, the speaker is helped by knowing that it's a full crowd. Kung may natitira kasi mga upuan in the olden times, ang tendency for the speaker, you're a loser or you're a failure. So in a public speaking, it also helps and brings a lot of confidence for the leader if, for instance, he finds out that there are more people that have attended. So that's a little bit of a trick that we normally would tell. And of course, important then is that uh, your audience involvement, and then later on, we'll tell you about the uh, audience control. Because it's important for a leader not just finding out audiences, but also unruly participants. How do you manage that as a leader? Because it, it is reflected on a reflective of your performance. So lastly, style. Eye contact is cue. Voice is cue. Uh, is, is important. Gestures are very important. So you practice all of these things as an effective leader or else you will just keep on telling yourself that you're a leader, but people do not understand and respond to you. You're not a leader because as they say, leadership is almost a perception of what the people perceive you to be because people will always say, for me, you're a leader. You're a self-appointed leader, but for me, you're not. And everything matters to the audience now. Now, I think this is going to be my final series. We just wanted you to kind of understand that as a leader, kailangan marunong din tayo mag-deal with difficult audiences. And this is sama. Merong mga audiences na grupo-grupo. Yung barkadahan, alam natin to, no? Yung they sit together, wala silang ginawa kundi mag-hagikikan. So paano mo gagawin yun? Lalo sa mga estudyante, di ba? Alam na alam natin yan. Ito yung sabi ko, uy, barangay-barangay. Nasa isang lugar lang sila. Ngis-ngisan na ngis-ngisan, ngisan din nakikinig. So as an effect, as a leader, how do you manage those things? No? Meron naman yung mga mahiling makipag-away. Ang tawag ko dito, the fight club members. No? Yung may agenda ka agad. Naka, ayoko kasi umatid nito eh. Pero gusto ko magtanong. Tatanungin ko yun kung ano-ano. Parang ganyan, no? Maraming ganyan, mga professional. Yung bang nag-away sila ng pamilya sa, ano, tas pagdating sa, sa, school, sa, uh, square, sa classroom mo, ayan, maintang ulo. Meron din naman yung mga Mr. Expert. Yung bang parang lahat alam na niya. Di ba? Meron ganitong audiences. Hindi mo ma... <clears throat> hindi mo masasala kasi ang participant mo yung parang sila na yung God's gift to humanity. Ah, alam ko yan. Alam ko na yan eh. Ang tawag ko dyan yung mga si Mr. Valedictorian o si Miss uh, Sumacom Laude kasi talaga I, I, I know that one. So, ganyan. Meron din naman yung ganito. Wala ang ginawa kundi magpapagbiruan, magpapaghalikigan. Lagi may pa-joke. So you deal with a lot of these things and you tell, oh my God, how can I show to people that I'm really a leader, I'm an effective one, if you're not able to manage what we call difficult audiences of participants. Ay, sorry. And then, of course, yung walang ginawa, kundi magdaldal lang magdaldal. Bukod doon sa rin kipagchismisa na, daldal lang daldal. Yung bang, lalo na pag sa group work, 
'di ba? Lalo na kung sa group activity, iisa lang 'yun. Siya na 'yung siya na 'yung bida ang sarap. 'Yun siya lang. Jabali bida forever, bida for life. Himang parang ikaw na. Hindi lang ito yung GGSS ha. Hindi yung gandang ganda sa sarili. Isang gagong gago sa sarili din. Ito yun. Siya yung gustong gusto. At of course, meron din naman yung mga ganito. Meri, himang walang magsasalita. Hindi naman sila pipe. Hindi naman sila ganun. No? Hindi talagang ayaw lang nila makapag-participate. But there's some of them that are brilliant. They just don't want to, to participate. So, how do you now bring about This, uh, their participation as a leader. No? Kasi importante yun. Rin. That's why, as a leader, to be able to be effective, communicator, dapat we need to be able to manage and control your audiences. So, one way by which you can do that one, especially on a face-to-face, I'm sorry what I can do is face-to-face. No? Side talk. <clears throat> Yung bang, lalapit ka ng konti. Alam mo, very effective to. Ano? May magdadaldalan. Tapos medyo lalapit ka. Kasi ito yung basag trip technique. Lalapitan mo yung mga nagdadaldalan, titigil yon, Kasi akala nila, sisitahin mo sila. Pero in truth, you're just addressing other people. So one way by which you'll be able to manage that is to be able to approach them and maybe ask them a little question. If not, just by being closer or what they say, proximity actually breaks the identity as they say. Hindi ba? So, to be able to get people to stop uh, talking, alam mo, medyo tumahimik ka. Alam mo, sometimes a leader also needs to be silent a little bit. No? Tahimik ka ng konti. Matataran tayo yun, bakit kaya siya tumahimik, di ba? And then of course, of course, ultimately what you want is this, is to to uh, verbally request them to, 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 to be quiet a bit. So, as an effective leader, you have dapat very stern also and very decisive in terms of managing audiences. So, very, very core question. Now, pag may mga tanong, hostile questions, Uh, for for the people who are studying communications, eventually you'll become spokespersons organization. That's one of the most difficult jobs as a communications person to be spokesperson, right? If you are finance, if you are engineering or or architecture or participating in this one, eventually you'll be bosses, you'll be president, and the ultimate spokesperson in an organization is the owner or the president. So don't tell me that you're an accountant that you'll never be a spokesperson. But no, so you will always be faced with hostile questions. One way by which you can do that one is to let people know that you understand the question. Sometimes there are people, especially if you're dealing with media, no? the media's tendency is to always harass you, barrage you with questions, what they call gotcha questions. If you don't understand, paraphrase. So that's one way by which you'll be able to manage. So we teach them, we teach these things and strategies and techniques when we do a uh, media spokesperson training program for leaders because leaders need to be able to understand how to, 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 to communicate well. Now, if you're doing a public presentation in, and one, question, uh, one person asks you a very difficult question, don't just address that question to him because the audience is not just him, right? Address the question to the whole group. So which means you acknowledge first, but remember kiss, 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 Acknowledge the question, thank the person who asked that question, and then respond to the question. You're not just responding to that person who raised the question, but respond to the whole group. That is a way by which you exhibit or manifest inclusivity as a leader. That's one way by which also that you'll be able to manage, especially if the person who's asking that question is a little angry. And in, in your life as a leader, you'll be faced with a lot of angry people as well. And that's it. So I'll just... Do a rundown, seven effective ways. Again, know your target audience. Try to find out what the clear objectives of your communication. Be strategic, don't say a lot of things. You know, just we just wanted to say those things. Work for acceptance, meaning be credible. No? Make people believe that what you're saying is true and that they can apply to your job. And then do a little what we call recency effect or recall. People need to recall your messages. People need to recall your presentation. At least man lang yung key or core words. Dapat maintindihan nyo. No? And then review and replan, which is a call practice. So, in conclusion, ask yourself, what do I want to accomplish? Do you have the authority, the responsibility, the leadership skills in my current position to exert influence? And then, lastly, how do I build ground support for change? Or how do I ground, how do I build ground support for all the participants? These are some of the key things that we should learn as a leader. Lastly, just to be able to make, uh, to end this session, is that the proof of a good listening is an appropriate response. Meaning, if you're really a very good leader and a very good communicator, 
then the response of your audience should be related akin to what your core message is asked. Again, the proof of good listening is an appropriate response. So when you get an appropriate response, you can say, I'm an effective communicator and a leader as well. With that, I will end. Sorry, Mabilis, I'm sorry that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sir Ron Habal, for such an informative, relevant, and insightful talk today, sir. We, I'm sure all our student leaders here and future leaders were really listening intently and even taking down notes or even doing self-reflection during your talk. Uh, moving on, let's proceed with our question and answer segment. Participants may now post your questions or comments so we can address them. Let's not miss this chance to engage with our resource speaker. And uh, speaking of questions, we have here interesting questions, Sir Ron, with our, from our audience, our participants. Now, one of this is from Jamie Escobio, and he asked, Good afternoon, Sir Ron Habal. As a leader, how can we successfully manage or influence our members or subordinates <clears throat> who are older than you? Do you have any style or approach that you can share with us? Oh, maraming ganun. Yung sinasabi natin, obstacles. Eh? One of the things that people uh, that, that impede them or stop them from communicating is when there's, a, there's somebody older, hindi ba? So, yeah. one way by which we do that one is you find the appropriate time. Because there's always an appropriate time to be able to talk, right? So, to be able to raise some suggestions. Because in a heated argument, especially in a group discussion, you find a time, if you think that the, 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 the that discussion is already doing well, and then the boss or the older person is actually accommodating some, some, uh, some comments already, and then that's a time you kind of like do that one. And, and, and then you do it uh, more appropriately by saying, um, if you don't mind, sir, I, I am just thinking about something. Because you need to be able to show to that older person that it's actually a well thought out review, right? Because this is not just a, some kind of a whim just to be able to embarrass him. Because the last thing that you want is to embarrass. So what you can say is that I'm thinking about the things that you said. And I'm thinking, is it also perhaps also appropriate to do this one? So you're basically just finding your way in. Just to be able to first acknowledge the statements. And then offer some kind of a, almost like what I call a divergent comment. Para lang, you're you're opening yourself up to that particular person to respond appropriately to you. So find the time, make an appropriate comment by acknowledging him first. Because alam mo, ang, yung older person, laging sinasabi niya, pabalik na kayo, ay pabalik na ako, papunta pa lang kayo. No? Mm -hmm. First, you have to acknowledge. Thank you for that one. I realize it's really important. But is it also this one? So offer a, almost like a counterbalance. Para lang medyo mag-respond sa iyo yung mga taong ganun. No? Kasi pag sinabi mong very uh, agitated, what they call, no? uh, uh, na, eh pero bakit ganito yung ganito? Ayaw yung, especially the tone. Kaya sa vocal and tonality are also very important. And then rephrase if you do not understand or paraphrase and then offer that counter argument. That's how you talk to experts, to older people, to older people, to, all, to, to managers. Because sometimes they also appreciate that, especially if you have the right time and right tonality. That's yes, uh, thank you so much, sir. I think it's a very relevant discussion. No? I um, also, especially in the workplace, it can also be sir the other way around. Like for example, the the boss or the leader is maybe as there is a, a very wide generation gap, like a baby boomer or someone. Uh, of course, uh, from the Gen Z perspective, no, there would be some misunderstanding. In, could be some generation issue in terms of how they understand each other in the mm -hmm. workplace, no? So it could be the other way around. Like the the, the leader or the boss could say that marami ka pang kakainin bigas. Yes, <laughs> maraming uh, ganun. Talking the, yeah, <clears throat> talking to the Gen C, sir, the Gen C. Um, oh, oh. Uh, employees, Alam mo, mahirap no? din yun, no? Yeah. Mga Gen Cs, Gen Ys, ganyan. Uh, madamdamin, hindi ba? Marami akong <laughs> mga ganun na maraming madamdamin. Lalo na kung uh, the, uh, some of the leaders will offer some ways of the improve, right? Diba? So, um, again, one of the things that Kait Paiko a junior can also show leadership just to be able to acknowledge what is being advised to you and then mm -hmm. say, we'll work, we'll, we'll work within that parameters and then show that you care. But also, if you want to kind of like say, ah, pwede rin po ba yung ganito? Pwede po bang ganito ang i-offer ko? Mm -hmm. So, meet at the middle ground because the managers can also appreciate those suggestions. So, kasi sometimes, if, if your president or managers are managing a lot of people, some, minsan, 
kulang mm-hmm. din yung kanyang perspectives no uh, that's why mm-hmm. the younger uh, gener- sorry the younger uh, employees or or maybe the students as well who are going to be new uh, you know uh, employees accept and then work out a particular series especially if you don't uh, uh, appreciate but don't say ayoko niyan kasi may mga iba talaga na sinasabi i've i've experienced this one um in and out they saying ayoko nang ayoko niyan ayoko ng umattend niyan ayoko ng ganun so walang alternative so dapat siguro i-manage natin yung ganun because also there's a way by which you can show a potential in leader in being coming a leader is to be able to understand situations we cannot just do it by ourselves parang ganun sige yes yes sir i think sir Ron, uh, that's very interesting because you also somehow answered already this question from Nico Moleta no as a leader how can you manage criticism from other people especially those who are not in favor on what you're saying mahirap so, yun yeah. ha uh, lalo na pag medyo sensitive ka no uh, may, talagang mm. may mga taong sensitive no uh, so mga unang panahon ko o oh, oh, the banyo is my protective area lalo na I became a manager when I was like 20, 21. And then I sit in the uh, in the management team and they always say, bakit may pinabili ng suka? Bakit nandito si Toto? Bakit nandito, mat may grade one? Yung mga ganun. Tapos, mm-hmm. every time you raise an idea and you're all co-equal officers, when they yeah. say, ah, because you don't have experience, that they dismiss you, no? Kung medyo sensitive ka, talagang the way to do it, that just, just the, the way to manage that one is sometimes just to cry, no? Uh, pero dapat may dating sam- ang sabi nga nila you grieve a bit pero you have to recover by pr- supporting your arguments with a paano ba with a with a solid ground hindi yung basta magre-retreat ka na lang hindi ba kasi you have to defend as well kasi uh, a leader needs to be able to defend no matter how uh, how they're being treated because you only you'll feel bad because you allowed them to feel, to make you feel bad hindi ba so he Nagmukmuk ako sa CR for like five minutes and then I went back and argued my way into the things. And you know what they said? They said, that is an appropriate response. You just don't give up. I mean, you show to us that you are capable of leading your team because I was already leading a lot of 50 years old, 50 year old at the time. And then they say, bakit? <laughs> Dumidedi ka pa ba? Yung mga ganyan, very, very insulting. Pero talagang... Ano to, uh, uh, hindi kapala ng mukha, taganti bayan ng loob, hindi ba? Kasi mm-hmm. there will come a time na talagang may experience. May, lalo na kung may mga dito na, na mga bata na brilliant people na mm-hmm. pag, pagdating sa labas, eh parang boss ka agad, hindi ba? May mga ganun. So, uh, but there will come a time na talagang test ang iyong uh, emotional maturity. That's why a lot of EQs is need to be on top right away. Kasi pag nasa loob ka na, Lalo na sa mga communications, no? uh, napupunta kayo ng communications agency or advertising. No? Isa, sa ako, isa ako sa mga A, A something before na pag hindi ka prepared, parang I tell, I tell you just go to the CR and give, me, give yourself 10 minutes and then come back. Kasi sa advertising agency talagang bangayan ang bangayan lana kung hindi ka masyadong matalino pero you have to prepare yourself because that's how you toughen up yourself hindi ba so so those are some of the things and uh, that, and we see potential in those you know, because if they're able to recover then then okay yun yes thank you sir Ron for sharing those experiences i think you also somehow touch on this no from Milo Laracas because um he's asking how do we deal with difficult leaders po or communicate Uh, to them no, or with them uh, what are the things that you did po based on your experiences mga difficult Oo, uh, leaders yeah. don't be afraid mm-hmm. uh, they may be difficult no? Uh, and then try to find out why they're being difficult I mean if it's personal wala tayong issue doon no? pero if it's about your work then it is possible that they're being difficult because you're not able to deliver the things that they've asked us to do pwede naman ganun di ba? so don't assume na eh ang hirap naman po kausapin ganun na so sometimes Uh, we uh, the leaders appreciate it when people approach the leaders by saying, "Sir, can we have can I have a uh, 30 minutes with you? Because I want to be able to improve myself. I want to be able to become leaders as well someday, and mm-hmm. I want to be mentored. I want to be coached, and and then this is how I see it. I want to be able to improve. I want to understand where you're coming from. Wag yung sa sabi mo, 
Kapal na mukha nito, kala mo naman, dati rin naman, ganyan siya, alam mo ba, dati noon, may ganito siya, huwag yung gano'n, no? Be very, because the first thing that you need to be able to, kahit babang employee, is eventually you become a leader by yourself, di ba? And you just don't do it by rote or memory, but also by by approaching others to be able to help you, no? Um, I've been able to recover that one by actually appointing every companies that I've been with, first week, I look already for mentors that can help me. Because I know I don't know anything. Sometimes kasi may tendency, ang talino ko, ang galing ko, ang lapad nga ng noo ko eh, kaya ang talino ko, di ba? So, and then, hindi laging sinasabing ganun, no? Kahit pa, there's a certain, alam mo yung humility, being humble is a form of leadership, no? Uh, if you're humble enough to be able to accept input yeah. from others, that's why, in a given environment, look for a mentor. Even if you're already at Vice President SVP, you always look for a mentor kasi there are ways, techniques, strategies, experiences that people have already done and before that you can benefit from. I mean, I've, I've, I'm, I have already own um, several agencies, but I still uh, meet up with people just to be able to learn from their experiences. So the humility to accept that you are not perfect or you're not excellent all the time is a way by which you can really exhibit true leadership. Kahit na sa mga tao ko, I have, you know, I have 40, 50 people already. And then I learn so much from them. Uh, and then right? I open up uh, discussions. I, you know, toolkit discussions, small group discussions, just to be able to find out what they're doing, how they're doing. And, 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 and we, we do best practice. No? Sometimes you don't, you don't know, but it comes from people na hindi pa managers. So, we have, so ganun. No? Kung hindi ino-offer ng leader, then you're the ones that will opening it up. So that's how you'll be able to communicate with difficult leaders. Because there's a it's reason really, why they're being difficult. Yes, Sir Ron, these are really practical piece of advice no, lalo na sa ating mga potential student leaders no, and also the, the, the future leaders no, after, soon enough after their graduation, they'll be also taking their different roles. No? And I think, um, yeah, intellectual humility is something that we need to admit no, that we don't know it, we don't understand it. I think this is something that will also help us address no, uh, yes. also connect with our difficult leaders. No, uh, and that's an interesting question. Ni, yeah, si Leona, I just I just found out because it's related to that one. So correct. So, dapat there's a humility to ano no to accept that you're not perfect, but also you need to be able to accept also that yung self doubt. May mm -hmm. ganon de ba? Alam mo may tinatawag sila na imposter. Uh, ano ba yun? Imposter syndrome, syndrome hindi ba? Yeah. Yung feeling mo galing galing mo na pero the doubt ka na magaling ba talaga ako hindi ba? Diba? So, uh, okay lang yun. Okay to feel that one. In fact, sabi nga nila to, to feel vulnerability even if you think you're already Superman. No? There's always a kryptonite somewhere. Mm -hmm. And to self-doubt is also key. And when you're already experiencing self-doubt, you don't have to tell people that you're self-doubting. You just need to be able to self-assess and self-evaluate. Ano ba yun? Bakit pa ako nang self-doubt? You isolate that issue. And then if you cannot find that answer, as other people. Peers is very important. That's why, as a leader, it's important also to do a lot of networking. Just don't work within your organization. Work within a community, within peer industry organization, professional organization. You ask those leaders because they're also self-doubting. Because you don't know the future. We're, we're not naman manguhula. We're not Madam Auring. I don't know if they still know that one. But you can predict the future, di ba? So you don't know what's happening, but you'll only know that you'll be able to accomplish that one by doing some baby steps. But if you self-doubt, ask other people who might probably experience that one. So, Leona, okay lang yon to self-doubt, but don't naman parade it to other people. Alam mo, duda ako. Kasi hindi rin maganda. Yun ang pag sinasabi mo, nagdududa ka sa kakayahan mo. Kasi ibig sabihin, you're already questioning your leadership. Yeah. Work on it. Don't spread it. Very interesting question from Leona Isulano, one of our graduating students here. And yes, sir, one of my favorite quotes from Abraham Lincoln is, yeah, to predict your future, you must create it. And that's something that you're Correct. trying to say in this, in this part of the discussion, sir, that it's really about your decision uh, in, in career, in the, work, uh, world, in the workplace, in the world of work, uh, whatever mm -hmm. the decision that you're doing right now will reflect in, in terms of what will happen with your career in the future and how you deal with your colleagues and other leaders. Sir, since uh, 
well, and dami interesting question but because we are of course celebrating the International Women's Month ngayon, no? I think Eric is <laughs> at the anik here. It's okay, Eric. Uh, this very interesting question. No? I think this is another topic for webinar altogether, but maybe <laughs> your take on this sir Ron, no? uh, those who are saying that women can lead. Those who are saying those things can't lead and have mm. not experiencing have not experienced good leadership from women. Because if you've experienced how women lead, you will, you will never in your wildest dream actually utter that one. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's, it's a, not just a bad statement, but an irresponsible statement because we've seen a lot of women, they don't have to prove themselves, but the fact that they've, they've given birth to you is a form of leadership already that any man will never ever experience. The amount of pain that they have suffered just to be able to give birth and give life to everybody that should already be commended. That's almost like a miracle and a God's gift and never ever question that one. That's why I always tell macho people, no, saying, Alam mo, I've experienced this one um, um, in, in global management teams because I've, I've worked all over the world and, and then they will say, um, I think women should be relegated to the creative stuff and said, really? Haven't you seen a lot of engineer women have so actually put up uh, power plants in, in the middle of the Arabian Sea. I haven't seen them. So these are some people who are so myopic or who have a brain, a minutiae brain, no? that, that, that they don't know what they're talking about. So this is not just because we're celebrating international. In fact, we should not be celebrating just a month for women. We should be celebrating them every day. Women can lead. Laging kong sabi, hoy, sabihin mo yan sa nanay mo. Diba? Every mother diba, is a leader because kung hindi, wala ka dito, yeah. no? Diba? <laughs> and then they, they should be celebrated because they work double time. Diba? Kaya medyo napipi ko na pag sinasabing, oh, president. Kaya we are the ones that institute, instituted the industry that there should be an, uh, a representation in, of women in board uh, boardrooms because they have a different perspectives that others cannot provide. Then the next one that we are advocating would be representation of LGBTQIA in the board because there's also a the viewpoint and perspective that need to be in the, in the boardroom as well, because there are things that they can do and they, they have the best of both worlds in any way. So we should be able to advocate for that one. So Erica, you are a leader. Wow, thank you so much, Sir Ron. This is really a very engaging uh, discussion. You, you know, sir, I think we need a part two of this, no? <laughs> of this leadership <laughs> talk. <laughs> because uh -oh. our students are really engaged, no? but you know, because you no, know, um, in the interest of time, we don't have the luxury of time. I'm sure our students here will be more than willing to really uh, maybe send uh, these questions. And <laughs> hopefully <laughs> soon we will be yep. able to again invite you again, sir, for another leadership talk. But yes, uh, this is one of the the most um, engaging no, talks no, that we had no, in our leadership, in our ULID webinar, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, before we end, we would like to, of course, present uh, first the Certificate of Appreciation to our ULID resource speaker. Let me read the text first. Far Eastern University Career and Placement Office in collaboration with the Student Development, Office of Student Development, presents the Certificate of Appreciation to Mr. Ron F. Habal for his valuable contribution as speaker during the Young Leaders Educational Dialogue or ULEAD titled Walk the Talk, the Leader as an Effective Communicator given this 29th day of March 2022 at the Far Eastern University, Manila. <laughs> Signed, Gracial A. Lintag, the Director of FU Student Development, Maria Carmen Sita Suba Alfonso, the Director of FU Career Placement Office, and Generoso B. Pamitan Jr., PhD, Assistant Vice President for Academic Services, Thank you so much again, Sir Ron. It's really an honor, privilege, and I'm sure that all our um, participants really learned a lot from you. Before we end this unit leadership talk, Sir Ron, are there any parting words or final pieces of advice that you would like to share with our audience, especially our Tamarao <laughs> student leaders? Thank you, Reno. Thank you, FEU, for inviting me. I'm so happy. Imagine we started 195 and not a single soul actually dropped from these communications. I've, I mean, that's very rare and, and very appreciative. No? Meron akong left ear on my left cheek. <laughs> and 
Hindi kasi masaya yung ganito. In fact, uh, I would suggest nga it would be nice kung parang kwentuhan lang because we can mm-hmm. respond to a lot of the questions. Yaman yung mga palekture kasi ano lang yun, they, they probably learn more from the interaction. No? I mean, just to be able to ask questions, especially kung career, no? Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of the students really appreciate what happens ba? Paano ba gumawa ng resume? Mga ganyan. O kaya ano ba yung skills na hinahanap? Ano ba yung, mm-hmm. ano ba yung dapat ma-expect ko? Mga ganyan-ganyan. I think uh, it's more like a kwentuhan no? or, or in, a, in, a, in a copyhand setup more than mm-hmm. a presentation. Kasi yung presentation pang, pang mataliin no? forever. But the, the, the conversational aspect, parang ano lang yun eh. Kung may face-to-face ito, parang uh, isipin mo ng talk show kind of thing na may moderator lang nakaupo and then You have people who are kind of like asking questions. I mean, you know, you can ask all the questions you want. I mean, we're ready for it anyway. Wag lang waistline. Okay lang yun sa akin, no? But anyway, I really appreciate and I really commend FEU. I will tell this to Sal and UB and said, mahiya kayo mga Elisa. Hindi lang pala. So very, very, ano, very appreciative of this one because it, Bago to, and I'd, I'd like to thank again si, si Babes and si Miss Crescell no? and Ron for, for, for spearheading this one. And, and all the students should be able to appreciate also what FEU is doing for them because this is our, we don't have this kind of luxury in other schools that you learn from this one. And you can ask people questions, or you can ask people, older people questions. So, okay, yung mga ganito, no? that's why. Again, in, in terms of leadership, there's only one because my, my favorite quote really is from one of my four, more favorite U.S. presidents, Quincy Adams, uh, who's the Secretary of State. I'm a, I'm a frustrated lawyer and diplomat. Uh, um, I, was a, I was a vice consul already before, passed the foreign service exam. Kaya lang, I studied that it will take me 25 years to become ambassador if I go via the regular route and not the appointive one. So I gave it up, but I've, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a voracious leader in terms of foreign affairs. So one of the quotes that this US president said, and I will paraphrase just to be able to become appropriate for this particular session is that for leadership, no? if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, you are a leader who communicate well. So that's what we should be able to inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more. With that, I will end this session again. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. You may be few, F-E-U, but you're really more. <laughs> Such, Thank uh, you. Powerful uh, closing statement no, from Sir Ron. And of course, sir, we will keep in mind no, the your your suggestion that we will have an ikamustan, ikapihan, or whatever kwentuhan that we will have in the future with all our student leaders yep. and also our students, you know, especially those who are about to, to join the workforce very soon. Yep. Thank you so much. At this Thank juncture, you. Thank you again, Sir Ron, for um, sharing and placing this event with this valuable uh, with your valuable knowledge and experience. To all our students in attendance, please do not forget to answer the online student activity evaluation form so we can provide you also with the e-certificate of attendance. We would like to invite you also to another ULI leadership talk on April 19 with the topic design thinking from ideation to execution. On behalf of the FEU Career and Placement Office and the Office of Student Development, we thank you again, our students and student leaders for joining us this afternoon. We hope that you learned a lot from our ULI talk. Many thanks also to the Marketing and Communication Office for making this live webinar and FB live streaming possible. For updates, please check the Career and Placement Office and Student Development Official Facebook pages from time to time. And as we end, may we invite everyone to join us in singing the FEU hymn. This again, your MC Ron Gascon. Keep safe, everyone. Be brave. Come rouse. Thank you.